Hey people, what's up? And just back again for another video. A uh, direct webcam this time because I got some good light shining on me so you can actually see this black mug and it's not just <laughs> the darkness. Yeah, because videos are a bit more approachable when you can actually see the person doing them. Anyway, I digress. So uh, what I wanted to talk about in this video is we're not going back to the, the ignorance one. We're, we're going to still be doing that, but we're going to try to branch out. Anyway, um, what I want to talk about today is a topic that I really haven't given uh, much thought on. I've been talking uh, uh, a lot about ignorance, so let's switch out. Let's go back to gaming. Uh, I want to talk about motion controls. You know, what really started this, uh, started, you know, me generating talk about this, uh, I, I was chilling at my college a couple weeks ago, right? You know, it was Friday afternoon. I didn't have anything to do. So I was like, you know, let me go hang out in the entertainment round, lounge. I was about to say round. I don't know. Uh, and, you know, in that room, it, it's got everything. We have TVs, we have foosball and all that stuff. And, of course, this generation being gaming, extensively gaming, uh, you know, people have their PS3s, their moves, and their Wiis. And, you know, we were playing the Wii, and, you know, we were pl taking turns playing uh, Skyward Sword, Mario Kart, uh, you know, Red Steel, all that stuff. Good games on the Wii. Um, we, we all started getting into a, a sort of a roundtable discussion without even thinking about it on motion controls this generation. And we got people chiming in out of nowhere, people who were gamers, people you wouldn't think were gamers, just talking about it, because everybody had a lot to say on this topic. Um, so, you know, I went home and actually said, you know what, I should probably do a video giving my updated thoughts, since it's been a while the last time I recorded a video on it. So we're going to be talking about motion controls. This video in particular, we're going to be focusing on the PlayStation Move, Sony. So, as you guys are aware, I purchased the PlayStation Move on launch. I did a first impressions slash unboxing of it. You can check out the first impressions down here below. An annotation will be right there for your viewing pleasure. If you don't want to check it out, if you are one of the lazy individuals, then I can sum it up like this. Uh, the technology is really good. It is very impressive. If you've ever wanted something like that would be the big brother to the Wii that does everything it does, but better, you know, in terms of tracking and accuracy, then this is your toy. However, the software for this is really weak, and I would definitely recommend waiting. It becomes more of a sleeper hit type thing. So it, I did a video like September 17th, 18th, 19th, 2010. It is now March 4th, 2012. So it's been more than a year and a half. And I just have to ask this question to all the sensible Sony fans out there, not the drones. What games are you playing with the PlayStation Move? What games? Because I bought this fully expecting to see a great lineup of games. You know, because Sony has been touting this as, you know, the definitive motion controller. Uh, we're going to have a huge lineup for games. And yet a year and a half later, no real core titles. I mean, I look at my collection right here. Of course, there are a lot of Move compatible games. Just naming off the bat, uh, Resident Evil 5, Killzone 3, Mag, Heavy Rain, Resistance 3, those games all use the PlayStation Move. They have an added mode where you can play it using this. And, you know, I've tried them out on all of them. And I have to say the one that works most uniquely would have to be Resident Evil 5 and Heavy Rain. Resident Evil 5's move was a real throwback to the Resident Evil 4 and Wii. And Heavy Rain was just phenomenal with the move. But that's pretty much it. You know, not to say that Resistance or Killzone's controls were bad in any way. They're actually quite good. But that doesn't answer my question. Where are the core games for the move? The games that I would recommend somebody buy a move for? Because this just looks like an accessory that if you wanted to get a different style of play, you would pick up. It doesn't seem like something to be taken seriously, you know, where you want to get your money out of it. I look over at the Wii side and I see the games they're playing, like Mario, Zelda, Red Steel, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. You know, great games on the Wii like Okami. I look over at the Kinect, and while they don't have an impressive library either, I know people are playing stuff like Dance Central, The Gun Stringer, you know, a, a bunch of other Kinect games that I'm not going to mention. But what are people playing on the PlayStation Move? Really, because I don't know. Sports Champion? Medieval Moves? What exactly? Wh where, where are the core games? Now, does this have... Does this have any possibility to do with the timing of the move's release? Because as you guys know, Sony has been hard at work on this sort of technology for a long time. You know, people like to call it a Wii ripoff, saying that they just took the idea 
whatever. But if you actually look back, Sony has been working on this since 2001. You can see prototype videos of them using this with the iToy. That was back in 2001. So the iToy releases, it doesn't really perform to Sony's expectations. They thought it'd be this huge craze, but I really chalk that up to bad marketing and not enough quality titles. So the iToy doesn't perform as well. So I think Sony might have become hesitant on releasing this. You know, it might have the same effect as the iToy. So they put this on the back burner. Nintendo comes out with the Wii. Sony doesn't release it because they're like, oh, motion controls, eh, it's going to fail. If it didn't work with us, it's not going to work with Nintendo. Well, Nintendo pretty much proved the entire industry wrong, and they came out. It was a huge success. So many gamers got to love it. And so then Sony's like, hey, we have that same kind of technology. Maybe our gamers will love it too. Four years later, the PlayStation Move comes out. I don't think it's really performing to the way Sony chalked it up. You know, I mean, the Kinect... The Kinect, I, I don't know, maybe Microsoft was the better of the two in this situation. They saw the powerhouse of the Wii. They didn't just want to replicate um, doing the same thing because Microsoft could have came out with a motion controller if they wanted to. Like, just say, oh, yeah, we're just going to put this there. No, but they saw that the iToy was something popular last gen, and they released it, and it was a critical success. You guys know that Kinect and all that marketing because of Justin Bieber and Oprah, but it was still a success, whereas Sony... They're like, oh, yeah, let's just do what Nintendo did. Well, you know, let's just, they did better, so let's release ours. And I have no problem with that because it's it's good technology. Nothing nowadays is original, let's be honest, especially in the world of technology. I mean, the iPhone type um, of the apps, how it's like all that, you know, you put your finger across. I mean, every single phone nowadays has, it's become so synonymous. So the fact that everyone's saying that it's a ripoff, when it, first off, it's really not. And second, it doesn't matter. But you know what? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if this is a ripoff. If there's no quality software on this, what the hell is the point of owning it? I, I don't know what games are coming out for the PlayStation Move. And I'm talking about core games that were made with this in mind. Not ports from other systems, not compatibility. And this is the funny thing. I find this hilarious. You have these same people, these PS3 drones, who would attack the Wii saying it has no good games whatsoever... Yeah, when House of the Dead Overkill, No More Heroes, and Dead Space Extraction came over to the PS3 with the move, they're freaking praising it, saying, yeah, we got some more games, this is awesome, this is great. But you were just bashing on the Wii because you said it had no games. Logic does not exist with drones to begin with, so why am I even bringing that up? Damn. Anyway, I have to wonder, what is gonna, what, 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 what is Sony going to do with this? Because there's there's no games. The core consumer has already shoved this off. They're like me. They're like, well, there's no game, so why should I support this? The casual gamer already has a Wii and has a great library, so why should they support this? Who is this made for? Is this made only for the drones? Because I only see the drones talking it up and saying that it's good and buying those games. I don't know. Is the move made specifically towards compatible games and not its own brand and its library of games? What do you guys think about this? Because I, for one, am pretty disappointed in this purchase. <sighs> I mean, it's great technology, don't get me wrong, but if you don't have the great software, you've got shit. You really do. <sighs> really disappointing, you know. Could have been so much, but no. The only game that I'm even remotely interested in would be Sorcery, and Sorcery it only recently resurfaced. Like, we didn't know where that game was for, like, a year and a half. And now they said that, oh, it's still in development. So if that game, com if that game comes out and it is indeed the killer app, it should have been out by 2011. I don't know. Maybe I'll give this one a, a whirl because, you know, this, is, this has become a paperweight. A dildo looking like paperweight. Mm. I don't know, guys. Sony, you know what? You're forcing all of your developers to fucking put in 3D and move. Why don't you take one of the ones who you're going to freaking force to do another damn sequel into making a legit experience just for the move? Maybe the indie community on PC will probably enjoy having fun with this, you know, making some cool mods and then all that junk. I'm not sure, guys, but to the end of this video, I'm NGS signing out. Post your comments with your responses of what you think about the move. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate from the drones saying, oh, you're just a hater. You don't know what you're talking about. That's expected with all these fucking idiots. Anyway, catch you guys later.